Thank you very much, uh, S Senator uh, Galvez. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Senators, for your intense and arduous work in this file. As was mentioned, this is a very emotional topic for people in Canada. I just want to know more about uh, the uh, recommendation seven. Um, it's the first time I see some um, uh, concerns about uh, the possibility of exporting cannabis, so I just want to know more of the background that uh, led to this recommendation. And the other quick uh, question I have is, what is the confusion about the definition of dwelling house and why we need to clarify that? On the export, you want? C'était votre recommandation sur les recommandations d'augmenter les... Ah, excusez-moi. Vous, vous parlez de, 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 des amendes. You're talking about fines? Yes. Exporting cannabis. Sorry, but my, my trouble with my voice box is even having an impact on my thinking. We have a tobacco act at present. Even if you introduce chocolate or additives, the maximum fine is $300. So we wanted to align the Marijuana or Cannabis Act on the Tobacco Act because there were less severe sentences for example, with regard to exporting uh, cannabis compared with tobacco. So it's just a matter of harmonization. Your question is excellent. I'm looking at my colleague, it's Senator Carignan, who brought up the issue of dwelling houses. The way it's defined in the bill is such that it includes the apartment, the dwelling, but also the land around the dwelling. So if you live in a condominium, you have your unit, but you could also have a communal garden, a common space available to all condominium owners. A vegetable garden, for example, that condominium owners might share. So there are all sorts of ways of tying in <coughs> land to the dwelling house proper. So. Our suggestion is that this concept be defined so that we don't find ourselves in a situation where you would have land that isn't next uh, to uh, the dwelling but is part of what is being shared by several owners. So the co-ownership aspect is very important in all of this. And it's an issue that was also brought up by Senator Carignan and by representatives of uh, owners, landowners that we met with. Thank you.